Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Willa Lane, and we are here at Art Market and Design, and it's, of course, in the Nova Park Project, this fabulous museum, and I am here at the Artago, Artago Gallery booth, and I'm speaking to the owner. Introduce yourself to the camera. Sure. My name is Mee Sung Park, and uh, I'm a uh, gallery owner. We established you know, this year, 2022, after pandemic. And uh, this is a first show uh, as uh, my experience. But we had uh, such a established you know, artists that came together here. I'm so proud of showing all art uh, with the artists to this Hampton Market. Now, this is your very first time yes. at Art Market and Design. Yes. What do you think of it so far? About what? Your artwork here. What, sure, I what very. You think. Uh, I was of uh, you know. I was uh, thinking. Uh, I was a little apprehensive about it at first. Firstly, uh, considering you know the, every art has a different in a different area, so I was a ch I choose uh, artists who can fit in this you know the Hampton Art Show. So Something that would be apropos to the. A uh, customer base, a client base of what people are looking for in the Hamptons here. Yes, I see. I was uh, thinking about this area, particular area, Hampton, or uh, what is their neighbor, you know, neighborhood, and the people who live here, who's the, how, how's the guest, you know, the uh, characters and the personality and the environment. So that's why I choose, you know. You have a gorgeous arrangement of artwork. Tell my audience, how many pieces do you have here? We have uh, 33 pieces. Or 33 pieces? Wow. pieces. And we have 10 uh, artists in, uh, participated in here, this show. Now, this is so gorgeous behind me. It looks like uh, in the springtime, uh, the cherry blossoms. Yes. And that is too cherry blossoms. Also, yeah, cherry blossoms. And uh, you know the artist's name is uh, Ran Hang, and uh, she's uh, uh, she's working in Brooklyn, uh, New York, and uh, Seoul, South Korea. And she has uh, two studios. So she's well established. In it's gorgeous. Yeah, she Do you know that that is my, first of all, pink is my favorite color. I'm wearing yellow today, but pink fantastic. pink is my favorite color, and I love the cherry blossom trees in here in New York. They blossom in April, April and May, May yes. but mostly like April. So I run to the park where I could take millions of pictures because I just love being surrounded by the cherry blossoms. Yes, because you can see in the Central Park, I live in Manhattan, and you know, every uh, spring comes, so you see a beautiful cherry blossoms. Gorgeous. People gathering, and the whole arc is a very uh, what's it, uh, labor intense work. But there's a uh, her artwork is commissioned also to Noel, you know the um, what's it the uh, 
acknowledged by you know many collectors and the worldwide actually. Now, tell my explain to my audience what we're seeing behind us. I love this this kind of comic uh, cartoon uh, artwork. Tell us about that. That looks yeah. interesting. His name is uh, Jerry Kahn's. He's 80 years old. He's uh, based in New York and Brooklyn also too. He is uh, uh, was it um, a social activist and then. Uh, was it uh, he's a political you know, issue and the uh, current issue she, he likes to pr expose a message through his art. Very fascinating. Yes. Very interesting. His art is a very you know the was it the high uh, what, what what can high you know completion finishes. Yeah, I see she's crying. She's got black hair and the girl below has the blonde hair and the girl on the top says so sugar I hear you steal pictures and words well do ya and she's crying and the one below says thought I didn't see you huh thought you'd sneak by very interesting I like I, it's like a, a comic book uh, kind of thing going on so now tell my audience where are you located our place is in the Long Island City New York and nearby uh, Manhattan and the new city so it's a booming city actually. I see, I see that area has really developed. Yes, well developed right now many uh, you know uh, what's it the young uh, generations coming in and the new cultural you know the city actually. Okay. Well if we want to learn more information about your art gallery and all the fascinating artwork that you do have where can we go? Where are you located? We, I mean, what is your website? www.studioartego.com. You can just access it and you can see all the exhibition and artists and all the information you can see and images as well. Fabulous. Let's air kiss, Dolly. And we'll be back with more interviews right here at Art Market and Design. Keep watching. More art in the Hamptons. Pig Champagne Kisses. Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Lane, and we are here at the Art Market and Design, right here at the Nova Park Project Museum, and I'm here with a fabulous gallery owner from Dallas, and she's going to interview, uh, she's going to introduce herself to the camera. Introduce yourself, darling. Hello there. My name is Caroline Neese. I own Cerulean Gallery and we are based in Dallas, Texas and also in Amarillo up in the Panhandle of Texas and we are thrilled to be a part of Art Market Hamptons this year. Art Market Hamptons, now tell my audience, what do you think of Art Market Hamptons? I think it's incredible. The, the stable of galleries and artists that are represented here are unlike any other fair that I've visited and I'm, I'm very impressed um, not only the artwork that's here it's um, amazing artwork yes it, it really and truly is and every booth is incredible is this your first time here this is our first art fair outside of the state of Texas Wow and we chose the Hamptons well, you couldn't be in a better place because the Hamptons is a very beautiful place to be, other than Dallas, of course. <laughs> yes, the Hamptons is paradise. It certainly is. The Definitely. You guys don't have a beach. Do you have a beach? No, we do not have a beach in Dallas, no. Where are you staying out here in the Hamptons? Bridge Hampton Inn. Beautiful. Did you go point. to the beach yet? Not yet. We well, have been hard go. at work. You better go to the beach because the beach is the most beautiful beach on the Northeast. We have the most beautiful beaches here in the Hamptons That's and the right South here. Shore of Long Island. Wonderful. Well, I cannot wait to go and visit the beaches and get out and explore a little bit more. And and we love it so far. Is this, is this your first time here in New yes. York? 
Yes, ma'am. Wow. Oh, well, not in New York, but in the Hamptons. In the Hamptons. Yes. Now, tell my audience about the artwork that we're seeing, that we are surrounded here. Tell us about so, that. We brought a handful of our top emerging artists um, that we represent. We, we actually represent um, around 40 active artists, but we honed in on a handful of our top artists that we'd like to expose outside of the state of Texas, and we felt that the Hamptons would be the perfect place to bring them. Allison Castillo over here, our love artist, this that's is gorgeous. what she's known for, her graffiti love. She's based out of Fort Worth, Texas, and she is actually here uh, visiting for the art fair, as well as Zan Sinclair Kuntz behind us, which is oil on canvas. Mm -hmm and she's been painting for decades. She's amazing. She lives in Dallas, Texas. And then Captain Casual over here with his Vov Clicquot series. He is a character if you ever look him up on Instagram. And then Mitch McGee. This is really beautiful. That happens to be my favorite champagne, by yes. the way. Yes, Vuvay Cl uh, Clicquot is just a fabulous. Vov is my favorite champagne yes. as well. And I love pink champagne. I'm a pink I girl. <laughs> I love so it. This artist is a very prominent artist. Tell my yes. audience, explain to my audience about the artist that did this uh, artwork. So, Captain Casual, he did a limited series of the Vuvay Clicquot, and we are honored to be representing him and bringing this series here. There are only two that we have available here at the Hamptons. Um, so, yes, he is an amazing, amazing artist. And the Mitch McGee, this, from afar, it looks like it's flat, but this is actually six layers of birch wood. I see that it's very... It's three-dimensional. Three-dimensional. And he hand jigsaws the birch wood and sands it. This piece, he has so many hours of labor in it. It's and it's flawless. It's gorgeous. The fabrication is gorgeous. just incredible. Now, tell me, how many pieces do you have here showing here at the uh, at this particular booth? Well, we gallery. we brought approximately thirty pieces. We have several that are on um, in on storage in on site here. Um, and you can scan this QR code to view the additional available works, which we can bring to you to see. Um, but we are just loving our booth and everybody else that we're surrounded with. This has just been an incredible... Congratulations. Congratulations on being here Thank at you. Art Hamptons. Yes. It's just the most beautiful uh, so exhibit wonderful. of beautiful paintings and artwork. And I want you to tell my audience where we could go to learn more information about your gallery in yes, Dallas. Cerulean Gallery. You can look on Instagram under Cerulean, which is actually going to be a highlighted color of blue this year. Um, and uh, and uh, our website is thecerulean.gallery.com. And then we're also on Artsy. So. Well, congratulations on being here. Let's let's air kiss. And we'll be back with more interviews right here in the Hamptons, darlings. Keep watching. Pig Champagne Kisses. Today, here today, looking here fabulous as always. Looking fabulous and enjoying the artwork, but of course, I love your exhibit well, the most. He's a new photographer. He did Italian Vogue. We got Punk Me Tender, who did that rose on the other side, and uh, Marcus Klenko did the Bowie. So yeah, we've got quite and Craig Allen, of course, Jane Waters. We got a bunch of great artists this time. Yeah, always do. You always have the best artists at the White Room Gallery. And you always have the most beautiful pieces of art. I, I happen to love the Stardust, the Forever Young. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. That's my favorite. I think so. Amazing, because you have the icons, and then the cut glass creates this kind of magic. That Like, they're almost alive. And the sparkle, you know the sparkle. And then Hollywood was controlling, huh? It was terrible. It was not good. It was not good. She had a tough life. She had a very tough life, but we're doing real well right here at the White Room Gallery. 
gallery, gallery. right? Cognac. Yes. Great friend of the gallery. Appreciate now, that. I want you to tell my audience where we can find you guys in Bridgehampton. Yes, 2415 Main Street in Bridgehampton. We're right across from the new restaurants. I think it's El Tuto. That's one is in SAG, and now there's one that took over World Pie. So you can't miss us. Uh, if you go too far, you hit the church, you missed us. <laughs> but, After today, what will be your next uh, exhibition? Well, we actually have uh, this artist still up at the gallery for a, a couple of weeks. And then we're doing uh, a, a combination of different abstract artists. Is the next. When will that be? In September? Uh, this one in September. This is August 28th. I think the next one, yeah, is early September, probably after Labor Day. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's toast. Always, let's always. toast. Always a pleasure seeing you, Cognac. Thank you. And let's air kiss. <laughs> and we'll be back. Yes, darling, we'll be back with more interviews in the Hamptons. Keep watching. Pink champagne kisses. I was diagnosed in 2008. 2006. 2010. I was 32. I was 30. I was only 28 years old when I found out I had breast cancer. Last year, nearly 200,000 women in the United States were diagnosed with breast cancer. That means a woman in the U.S. is told she has breast cancer every two minutes. This video is two minutes long. Every woman on the planet is at risk for breast cancer. And that risk only increases if someone in your family has been diagnosed. So get checked. Check yourself. Perform routine breast exams at least once a month. It's easy. You can do it in the shower. If something doesn't feel right, it's up to you to find out what's wrong. Tell your doctor about any lumps or any unusual skin irritation, itching, or pain. Get regular mammograms starting by at least age 40 and every year after that. Breast cancer may not be preventable. But knowing the facts and knowing your body will increase your chances of finding any cancer early. Early detection means it's easier to treat. These are your sisters we're talking about. Mothers, daughters, friends, neighbors. Please, stay aware. Stay healthy. Stay alive. I survived breast cancer. I survived breast cancer. Sobreviví cancer en los senos. I survived breast cancer. I am still fighting breast cancer. Talk to your doctor. Get regular mammograms. And perform routine self-exams. It's as easy as taking a shower. Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Willow Lane, and we are here at Art Market Hamptons, and I am here with Albert Sultan, the gallery owner of this fab, in this fabulous booth, and he is going to tell us what he thinks of Art Market Hamptons. First of all, thank you very much for coming and visiting, and thank you for everyone for coming out for this wonderful event. Um, you know, 
it's not just a colorful art fair. All the people here are colorful and lively and happy. And uh, I'm really they excited to be here. They love the art and they love the they art. They love the art. They're amazing. They're enthusiastic. They're really supportive, um, both in their sales and in their comments. So it's really humbling to be here with everybody. Is this your first time here at this uh, art market, Hampton? So I have visited many times, but it's the first time where I'm actually showing in the Hamptons. And I'm not just the gallery owner, I am the artist of the paintings and I'm also the designer of the furniture. So. I love everything in this room and I match the decor so perfectly. You definitely do. And we did an interview, guys, we did an interview yes, together. 12 years ago. 12 years ago. Tell my audience a story about that interview. Tell them. Uh, well, it was at the Stella Bridgehampton Antique Show. So actually, I'm sorry, I misspoke. This is my second time in the Hamptons, but the first time at an art fair in the Hamptons. And uh, that was an amazing show, and I brought out my furniture pieces, and I think you also matched, and uh, we vibed really well. I love my colorful people, and here we are again. Now, tell my audience about what we're looking at here. You have paintings, you have artwork, you have furniture. How many pieces are you exhibiting here today? Well, I think I have about um, eight to ten paintings and I have select pieces from my Sultan Sheik uh, furniture line and really I'm someone who wears many hats. I cross over into the design world, the fine art world, the decorative arts world. Um, so I kind of mix, mix it up a bit. I'm a one-stop shop. I love it. I love it. You do have quite a bit here. You, have, you just sold these two chairs, right? Sold these two chairs to a lovely lady who owns 10 hotels. <gasps> so, yes. That's fabulous. Yeah, you know, people need to understand that um, coming out here, you, you're making connections. It's not just about, you know, selling one piece here and there. It's about developing opportunities and relationships with uh, clients going forward for the long haul. Absolutely, and you do have beautiful, beautiful stuff, really good. This couch is amazing. Well, I'll tell you a little bit about the couch. Yeah, tell us the story about the couch. So, um, you know, I really believe that uh, you should never, never throw away grandma's sofa because you don't know what treasures you got. Um, this happens to be an original French provincial frame. I think roughly around 1940s, something like that. Um, the fabric is an original Christian Lacroix fabric. And uh, I think I got the last bolt out of France before the pandemic, and I had to have it. As you know, when you see something spectacular, you have I to have, have to it. have it. Right, right. <laughs> I know what that feels like. You're a woman after my own heart. I'm exactly the same way. <laughs> Darling, I tell my husband, I have to have it. You have to. It's like, a, it's like air and water, you know, to us. Yes, so a, yes. good, a good pattern color it's life itself you know absolutely absolutely I would say that my uh, the Sultan Sheik brand uh, our, our, our brand motto is live life artfully so to me what does that mean it's not just putting art on the walls it's how you dress how you present yourself it's what you choose to, to sit on how you entertain how you serve your guests all of that is living life artfully and that is the Sultan Sheik motto um, and it goes into the paintings the furniture in to the interior design and to all my relationships with all my clients. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Tell my audience, where are you located? So I'm actually, I'm born and raised on Long Island. Uh, what town? Roslyn and Old Westbury. Okay, North so, Shore. So, you know, being out here is like coming back home to me. Um, I live now down by the Jersey Shore in the Long Branch area. And everything's word of mouth. I'm online, I'm here, I'm on your show. Uh, people find me, my color stands out, and my people find me. And you're all over the place. That's right, I actually just came back from uh, three weeks abroad where I get inspiration from Europe, from, from all over the place. What's your favorite, this couch, this, this happens to be my favorite design. I, I swear I lived, during the time of Marie Antoinette. I, I always say that about myself. We were best friends. 
Or maybe you are you friends. Off, maybe, maybe, maybe you cut off my head. I don't know. But maybe no, we were no, friends. no, 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 no. No, I maybe we had cake with each I other. I definitely feel you're right. We had cake with each other. I definitely know for a fact that I lived during that time. I know I because even in my house, you come to my house, everything is French provincial. Well, you know, my last name is Sultan, so I'm royalty. So we probably lived in the same castle in France during Marie Antoinette's time. You never know. We went to all the parties in Versailles. Oh, that's a given. We were the life of the party. We were the life of the party. <laughs> I want you to tell my audience where we could go to find out more information. What is the website? Well, the website is sultanchic.com, S as in Sam, U-L-T-A-N as in Nancy, C as in cat, H-I-C as in cat, dot com. Fabulous. Let's air kiss. Mwah, mwah. mwah. And we'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews right here in the Hamptons. Thank you. Keep watching Pink Champagne Kisses. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the Cognac Show. dressed to impress one of a kind girl I was brought into this world wrapped up in pearls I love to mingle though my husband reminds me I'm not single I meet and greet both the famous and the elite I ride in limousines drinking the finest champagne wearing first dazzling diamond jewelry a girl can't complain I live in upscale life, dining in the finest restaurants, eating the best caviar for free. And no matter how much I eat cognac, ooh, ooh, I sip cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. It's been a Crybaby Productions, darlings.